Hey guys and girls of YouTube, my name is Kaz Wallace and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade your Kodi on your Android boxes as well as PCs. Alright, now I want you to listen to me very carefully. Don't skip the video and then expect uh, you to know how to do it if you don't know how to do it already. Alright, now it's a, a similar concept, not the same concept for the PC and uh, the Android box. But in this video, I'm going to show you how I do it on the Android box. And basically, once I show you on the Android box, just use the same concept and you should get it on the PC. All right. So um, to check the version of your Kodi, because the latest one out when I'm creating this video, which is the third or uh, the the third of October 2015, the, the latest one out right now is 16. Now, but by, by the time as you watch this video, Shoot, uh, Cody 20 might be out. You never know, but the concept is has been the same from XBMC days uh, to today. All right, and the box I'm using in this video would be an uh, Matrochrome G Box Q. But all boxes are the same. The basic idea is that once you once you start your box, you want to try to get into the settings. All right. Now, if you get a settings like this, this isn't suffice. You want to come back with that. And you want to try to find your settings like when you uh, open your phone or an Android uh, tablet. You want to try to find your settings that looks like this for Android boxes. Now you want to go to your apps. And in your apps you're going to see all the apps that you have. And then you're going to see where it says Kodi. Alright. Now where it says Kodi, uh, you will see the version that I have here is 15.1. And I can uninstall it. I can clear data. Uh, if you clear the data, that will delete everything off of your uh, Kodi, like all the add-ons and stuff like that. And you can also clear cache from here. So what I'm going to do if I want to upgrade my Kodi on my box, I want to uninstall the old one. All right. Now this can also be um, installed on your box through an SD card but I'm gonna do it easier for you guys that don't have SD cards or anything like that that way I can knock out the PC version as well as uh, the box version one time but if you were to install with an SD card you would install it using your file browser alright now once you put in the SD card you will try to locate the file and okay so I, uh, I got an SD card to put in and I'm just gonna show you how it would look uh, as he says, preparing external SD card. That's fine. Uh, we want to do at this point. We just want to go to probably open up our home. Okay, let's go back into the file browser. Got closed. And then once we do this, um, I don't want to show you this because I want to. Okay, you see where it says external storage. Now, in some boxes, it's gonna say SD card one or SD card zero, or whatever. But the basic idea is that once you find an SD card with all your stuff in it, then you just want to uh, then you just want to install that. Now, I have everything categorized, and if you look right here um, for the boxes, now this is on my SD card. But I'm gonna show you you guys that don't have SD cards how to install it. But if you look right here, I have the Kodi versions, like I have uh, all of my black Kodis and all those different stuff. I have my Kodi 16 Jarvis, but I want you to look at the end where it says APK. That is what you want to install when you're installing on any Android device. Alright, now if you're using it on PC, it's going to have the category, uh, category and everything. But I, I, I got this, this file from the actual Kodi website. And that brings me to the next part. Uh, if you don't have an SD card, you can just go to the Kodi website. But even if you have an SD card, you still have to go to the Kodi website to get the actual file. But in the description below, you're going to have a, a link. Uh, not only for the website, if you want to get the original file. But also another link with all the APK files from ver for version uh, from 15 to 16. Um, it's not going to be any PC files. It's only going to be the APK files for Android devices, whether phones or and stuff like that. But when you open up your browser, now remember my Kodi has just been deleted. So when you open up your browser, uh, don't mind this website. This is a Matricorn website. Because I'm using a Gbox, it automatically goes onto this website. But I want to go on Google, right? So we're just going to type in google.com. And now once we're on google.com, uh, we want to type in, just type in Kodi download. Right? 
Now once we type in Kodi download, you can see I've already been here before. Uh, we can just click uh, downloads Kodi and the website is Kodi.tv, right? But the actual spot where we're trying to go is Kodi.tv forward slash download. All right. Now once we stroll, I want you to take notice of a few things. You look at the, the current one, the current stable release. Uh, and the titles right here 15.1 Isengard and I want you to look at all these things okay it says that it's compatible for Windows, Linux, um, Mac, Android um, all these different things right and what you want to install you want to try to install the top line right you want to try to install this one um, this one has a guide and all those different stuff and for Android, what I suggest is that you, you install for, for boxes. Normally, Android boxes uh, carry the ARM or the ARM file. Now, what I've found is that when you're using a, like a, a cell phone something, the X86 uh, definitely works for the cell phones better than the ARM. But whatever one is best for you, you use it. But on Android boxes, always use ARM, the ARM file now that's for that version then if you keep on strolling because people think that's the end of the, the, the actual download section you can actually stroll down to the sec to the second part and it says that they're texting uh testing for the next release of Kodi version 15.2 all right rc2 and you can also install this by installing it installing this arm file and this arm file would be the apk file for your android right now both the the box and the phones carry apk files but there are different versions of apk files so that's what's going on all right um you can also install the windows version right there but that wouldn't work on my box but if you're using a pc definitely install the windows version and if you're using a mac then install the mac version and it's just an executable file for those devices and then run the executable file and it will install now what I'm gonna show you, um, I'm just gonna go straight up to the 16, although it says it's in a development stage. Um, I'm just gonna install the Kodi 16 one time, so I don't have any issues. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go and install the ARM file. Now what's gonna happen, it's going to try to download it from the mirror. And I want you to take a look in my download notification section, right here, I'm gonna drag it down. I'm going to drag it down and this is the mirror of the download that I'm actually downloading. So we're going to sit back for a while and let this download. Now while that is downloading I just want to talk to you about the about the PC version. Um, this would be a regular mirror file but on the PC version it would be an executable file and a Mac it would be whatever file it is for that to run. I assume it would be an executable file as well. And I, n I never ran it on a Mac, so I, w I wouldn't know exactly, but I would assume that's how it is. Okay, so I fast forwarded that, and you can see that the Kodi 16, which is named Jarvis, and that's another key point. Uh, each version of Kodi that is differentiated by the number also has a name. Like uh, you have 14, which is Helix, you have 15, which is Isengard, now you have Jarvis, which is 16. And then if you see the decimal, after the decimal, any little changes there, that would be um, little upgrades, um, things that they did to improve the, that version of Kodi. So if you ever see in the future it says 16.2, then that would be the second version of Kodi 16 and 16.1 would be the, well, 16.2 would be the third version of Kodi because 16.0 is the first one, 16.1 would be the second, and 16.2 would be the third version of Kodi. Uh, you, you get what I'm trying to say. Now once it's completely downloaded on your box, right? Now for your PCs, you want to just run the executable file that's going to be somewhere to the box. Uh, but like I'm saying, I'm using a box. So you just want to open up your your thing, uh, the file itself, and then we want to try to install it. Now once I just click that button, I realized that this HTML viewer actually tried to open. So if this ever happened to you, what you want to do, you just want to exit out. Exit completely out, where you reach right back on your main page. Now, everybody's Android box is going to look different, but the same idea and the same names of areas are the same. Just trying to find them is a little bit different. Alright, so 
any Android box always has a file browser. So we want to go into our file browser to try to locate the file that we downloaded from the Kodi website. So once in the once in here, um, by default, I'm in my I'm in my SD card. So I want to go to my local disk, which is my local hard drive. And naturally, every time you download a file onto your Android box, it's going to go to your download section. So I want to go to my download section, and then I want to try to locate uh, Kodi 16, which is right here, where it says Kodi 16, uh, Jarvis, Alpha 3, and so forth. As you can see, I downloaded the ARM file, but it's a uh, APK. So I want to install that, and then I want to in press install. And this normally takes uh, a minute or two, uh, not more than five. So if you ever see it takes more than five minutes, definitely stop and try to do it again. Okay, so that's completed. The next thing we want to do is just want to press open or you can press done. Normally, I press done. And after I press done, I try to locate it on my box. Now, for regular Android boxes that look like tablets, um, it would be amongst the other applications and you could always drag it onto your home page because I'm using a Gbox Q however um, it would not naturally pull up right here where it says Kodi now it did show up because I've already um, labeled that area as one of my favorites so I which what I would want to do if I don't see it on my Gbox Q right I want to open that little thing where it says edit rows and I want to go up to my favorites and then I want to click the little orange icon with the pencil and then I want to go to Kodi and label Kodi so once I come out of uh, my edit rows once I come out of my edit rows it would be right there now just an, an advisor for persons with Gbox queues um, you would notice that your Gbox some Gboxes queues uh, come with uh, the media center which also has a version of Kodi or XBMC um, and let me show you how well what type of thing it is right so you want to go into just to show you that version see it says XBMC so XBMC is actually the version of Kodi that comes into, into the media center I don't know how to get XBMC to run but it's their own special version and it's compatible with the latest add-ons and stuff like that so whatever they're doing they're doing it well because they never converted from XBMC but as you can see my my let's go back into that section my Kodi is updated to the 16 so once I go into Kodi like I showed you earlier in this video you would see that the version now is 16 so if I come back out and then I go back into Kodi right there where the original Kodi was remember I had 15.1 if I go into there it's gonna be empty um, because I, I, I deleted everything well I changed the version sometimes what I've realized is that when you change maybe from a regular 15.1 to a 15.2 you would keep the add-ons but normally when you change the, the build all together from an entire number to the next number all the add-ons are, are deleted but in the description below I'm also gonna leave all the videos uh, you can probably watch to configure your Kodi easy with like different builds and stuff like that alright so thank you guys for watching this video oh shout outs to Sean Ross uh, he he is uh, a sergeant in the US Army and he wanted me to make this video for him and other persons who may need it so definitely shout outs to him and everybody else who who give me support thank you guys thank you so much Peace. It's my time, when I wanna mic go round, when I wanna mic I shine, gotta give so the rock, it's time, I call me the shine. It's my time, when I wanna mic go round, when I wanna mic I shine, gotta give so the fine, it's time, I call me the shine. So check out the video game tutorials he said to provide, like, comment, share, and subscribe.